Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio, TV, and Blab Network, restoring vitality to you, sponsored by Exila Superfoods. I'm Scott Patton, your host, and joining me on this side is Martin Patella, your co-host and life coach. Hey, Martin, how are you doing today? Doing. I'm doing okay for a guy my age with the history I've had. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Glad to hear. I'd like to be much more suntanned than this, but what can I say? Well, you got to go live someplace that has lots of sun. Or just not sit in front of the computer as much as I do. That's right. That's or maybe I could invent a computer that puts out the light that's just enough UV that you're sun tanning all the time. Wow. I was just I want to go one that at least the light mimicked natural light as close as we can get it. Yeah, I want one of those. Today, Scott, I would very much like to talk about guys and two guys. I, I put a working title. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I put a working title on this thing called The Tale of the Hardworking Male. Okay. Because I was one. Yeah, me too. I was, well, you know, all the way up to about 29, I worked in serious physical jobs. Like I was on a sawmill hefting lumber and I was digging ditches. Well, because I was working in an archaeology dig as a student. Okay. One day I'll tell you all about that. That was really a cool experience, digging out a thousand-year-old stuff. Wow. But anyway, the point of that is that in my 20s, I had infinite, it seemed, amount of energy and ability to recover. Like I could push it. Yeah. I think we all could, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, of the guys that are working in these industries, like I mentioned, like lumber, right? But like construction, where you're carrying heavy objects and moving heavy objects all the time, or industries like oil, where you're probably working with really wet, dirty chemical stuff coming out of the ground, things like that, right? That's definitely the image that we... We have here, yes. I mean, you could be just driving a truck from joint to joint, but even when you jump out of the truck, you have to connect the hose to something and uh, do do serious physical things. Um, I don't know. Just spreading tar on a road construction. Right. Right. Okay, I think we got it. Young guys doing lots of physical labor. And what I'm thinking of is, and what I know, is that come about 27, give or take a year or two on either side, we start running out of the enzyme reserve. Ah, and so our energy drops. <clears throat> the first thing that goes is the speed of recovery. So where, where you used to be able to recover overnight, now you have to wait two days before you stop being sore. Or three, if it gets bad, right? Yeah. Uh, the other thing that happens is that the ability to digest almost any food starts <laughs> to diminish. <laughs> That's right. That's when you realize that you cannot have two pizzas a night anymore unless you really want to see major expansion of the waistband. Yeah. I remember the fun experience I've had when I was invited by this lady to um, – my, my first stop in a Canadian, like I came from Eastern Europe, right? Mm -hmm. This was a family in British Columbia, Vancouver. They invited me and I landed on Easter. And, uh, and she had a turkey dinner cooked. The works. The, the classic North American turkey dinner that I've never seen before in my life. And it had all the trimmings, you know. Ten kinds of vegetables, a stuffing, and turkey, and the dark, and the light, and the this and the that, the gravy, the works. Yeah. yeah. And I also didn't know the Canadian culture, right? Mm -hmm. Where I come from, they sort of meant what they said. So when she told me, go ahead, have some more, I thought, well, I guess she wants me to have more. So I loaded three times. 
I ate it, right? Like I just kept going. <laughs> to this day, she remembers that story and tells it to others that she couldn't believe that this young man came for a visit and ate three meals <laughs> in a row. In a row. Well, she obviously didn't have too many young men around because most of the ones I've known and when I was, uh, it was, that was exactly what happened. So what happens as we men get a little bit older? We talked a bit about enzymes. So. Yeah, the enzyme reserves runs out. So the ability to digest everything goes down, goes away. Then the ability to recover from physical exertion. So it takes longer to uh, undo the aches and pains. Normally, you could just go to bed tired and wake up rested and ready to take it on again. But when the recovery ability goes away, you wake up tired and sore. Okay. It takes you two days or three days to get over it. And then it's a week to a week and a half when you're in your 50s and 60s. Could be. That's why you can't hold the kind of jobs that a young man can manage. Right. So, and of course, the other thing that I'm remembering is uh, living in a uh, bachelor environment. As in, we were all kind of learning to cook or oh. prepare food. So it was, it was pretty helter-skelter, who knows what's going to happen. Some days it was just push off a few bits of stuff off the edge of the table so you can open a can of something and eat it with a fork straight out of the can. You remember those days or you never encountered it? No, I was macaroni and cheese all the time for me. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> so I was thinking that now with the uh, looking back 40 years ago for me, what would I do differently? And I'm thinking, there are two things. One is I would detox the toxic pollution that I was getting into my body. And the other is I would be on a superfood blend because I wouldn't be uh, wasting time on food prep, but I would be making sure that my body gets the nutrients it needs. So uh, I like so to Times, Martin? Repeat? Can you replace the enzymes? Oh, yes, but they are not in, inside of you anymore. They're gone. You need to supplement them from outside. Right. And the way we do it is uncooked, raw, temperature, not destroyed foods. The, the thing with enzymes is they, they get wasted at about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. 140 is the top limit for all of them. So we need to eat enough uncooked food. So raw pineapple is great. Raw fruits of every sort, really. Raw vegetables in the form of a salad are awesome. Juicing, right? Like if I could juice a whole bunch of fruits, vegetables, like a whole head of celery, a whole head of romaine, one whole cucumber, that would be good. But who has the time to deal with the blender or the the juicer? I mean, the setup time, the the trim time, the cleanup time, it's tough. Oh, for sure. I remember. I mean, I only had so much time after work that, I mean, I wanted to have fun not spending time prepping in the kitchen. <clears throat> So all I'm building up to is a sales pitch to a uh, sponsored by Exola having a superfood blend in the freezer that I can just take a bottle out and undo the lid, take a spoonful of it, put it in a glass of something, juice, water, stir it, drink it. I mean, awesome, awesome breakfast, right? Like breakfasts were always, oh, I don't know, just – Give me something and I'm out the door. So this time, this way, we could just take a uh, drink, put it into some kind of a uh, drinking thing with a straw, 
and take it on the commute to the job, right? Yeah. Or put it in your thermos instead of uh, coffee. I suppose that would be good. I never had coffee. Never. Never, ever. Strange, huh? Yeah. Um, I never thought that a guy could or should have coffee in a thermos. I've seen soups in a thermos in my lunch bucket days, but not coffee. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, so this, this thing, Zoetine, that I'm talking about, it's put together in such way that it contains all the important components that a meal should have, which is some proteins, some essential fats, a whole bunch of green things, chlorophyll, but other pigments, all the brown, yellow, blue, whatever, red pigments, which is the stuff that makes your immune system healthy, that provides the building blocks for the body to be able to repair itself. And put together in such a way that it nourishes you with calories, but at the same time gives you the building blocks of life, like the proteins and the antioxidants. And I, mean, I can go on with jargon, but that's not important. The building blocks that should be in a complete meal that you can rely on to nourish you well. So if the next meal is going to be some junky thing like the macaroni and cheese or a piece of pizza, you'll survive it as opposed to get worse. Right, because once people are in that sort of 30-ish age range, what happens is instead of having all of this energy and all of this enzymes to burn, we're starting to get flatten out, flatten out, and flatten out. So if we can early on in our adulthood be adding to the enzymes, we're going to be better off decades later, right? Absolutely. If you deplete your reserves slower or if you even refill it, God willing, then absolutely. Well, this reminds me of how it works out with professional athletes, right? Like most of them peak in their late 20s. It's, yes. They've had the most experience before they start running out of juice. Some last into the 30s, some exceptional ones into early 40s. But those are exceptions, not the rule. Most of them are done with injuries that they cannot recover from or just don't have the energy to keep going. This happens to ordinary guys too. And um, I mean, it's reflected in their sexual energy. It's reflected in their ability to recover and all of that. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that happen that I would like to mention is that on the job we get inputs, toxic inputs, like especially on the more chemical loaded jobs where we inhale a lot of hydrocarbons or the materials handling jobs where we actually touch with our hands or other body parts all kinds of metal metallic things steel but other things heavy metals we, we get into our bodies things like copper mercury lead who knows what mm -hmm. and that stuff is not materials that we were we evolved to handle like back on the savanna all there was was rocks and grass sticks grass and sticks and rocks, right? Yeah. All natural stuff, no heavy metals. So when that gets into your body, you need to get it out. So if you're working in a smelter or a steel fabrication or something of the sort, you need to have something in your lifestyle that's going to drag the toxic inputs out. And for that, I would highly recommend zeolite. It can be done through um, intravenous detoxification using EDTA, but it sure is a lot less invasive and inconvenient to just be able to take a capsule or a few drops in a drink every day when you're using zeolite, and it does the job. What does zeolite taste like? It's tasteless. It's without taste, nothing. 
So in the dry form, that's the type I use. It's basically like a very grayish chalk. Yeah. It hasn't got a chalky taste to it, actually. No, chalk like nothing. Yeah, it's just – and so sometimes I'll put it in juice. Most of the time what I do is I mix it in with yogurt. Sure, yeah, it's totally yeah. invisible in that. You get, you can't even tell. It's there. I mean, the yogurt looks a little lumpy, but you no. may not chew it or anything. Yeah. Just down the same way. So pretty painless way to take it. Yeah. Or we have it in capsules for convenience, or we even have it in drops, which we can just add it to drinking water. Right. Yeah. Cool. So zeolite will go in and it'll pull out the lead and the mercury and the coppers and yeah. that we don't need. Yeah, it's an interesting mineral. It's uh, it maintains a structure that you could liken to a sponge. Like in a sponge, you will see these little caves throughout yeah. when you take a sponge and you squeeze it and then you put it into a bucket of dirty water and let go of it it expands and sucks in all of the dirt right. and then you can take it elsewhere squeeze it um, with zeolite it arrives to you with a whole bunch of these little caves still unoccupied and these caves have electronegative charge and all of the toxins the, the unwanted stuff is electropositive. So as as the electropositive arrives and comes in contact with electronegative, they like to be together. And the zeolite hangs on to the electropositive toxins and uh, they just make their way through your digestive system and they get eliminated. Zeolite doesn't stay in your body very long, maybe three or four hours. So you need to take frequent doses every day, more than once a day. Right. I mean, we just have to, if we're in a city, you know, get a view of the city at rush hour or noon, and all you see is haze. You know, yeah. 20, 30 years ago, it was, it was, it was beautiful. You could see for miles. Wow. And that haze that you see in the distance is the same haze they see when they're looking at you, that you're in. So we yeah. live in this uh, suit of... You know, I'm thinking of what that stuff is. The tires are being worn. Mm -hmm. So there's this microscopic dust of rubber. Wow. The brake pads are being worn. There's this microscopic metallic composite of whatever the heck the material is that's being worn all the time. And then you have the exhaust. Right. And the jet fuel additives. And I. Additives, yeah. All, all the stuff that comes in the air and rains down on you. I was thinking, well, so you burn a carload of coal in China. Yes. It goes up in the air, gets picked up by the jet stream, and delivered somewhere in North America on the rain. Yeah. And so it falls on the forests and falls on the meadows and falls on the fields. So the cattle grazes on it. So they eat that. And then that's so the, the mercury that was in the coal that you burnt in China is now in the steak that you're eating. That's the grade A North American safe steak. Yeah, so it's a worldwide problem. We now have it. We have been crapping into our nest for 250 years now, and uh, here we are. Yeah, so you live in a toxic environment. You need to get the toxins out of you. Zeolite is the simplest, easiest, cheapest, safest way to do that, and we'll make sure that there is a link to it and to the zoetine uh, below. Yeah. The zoetine, the bachelor's savior, I'd call it that, because it's the easiest thing. A tablespoon of it, it tastes all right. Put it in a drink, shake it, stir it, drink it, and you can actually live on it straight. We had, we've had one guy who decided to put it to a test, lived on that for three months. He wow. actually lived on the richer blend called Iridesa, which we also have available. But anyway... Just that and fruit juice for three months. He said, I could have gone on forever, but I was getting bored with that monotonous taste. <laughs> uh, excellent. 
All right. So, Martin, if somebody wanted to talk to you about their energy levels, saying, yeah, you know, in the last five or 10 years since I've been 30, my energy levels are dropping, and uh, maybe get some help, one on one help, uh, how can they contact you? I'm available. The phone number is 1 866 543 3388. And you can find this and many other conversations on www.life dash enthusiast.com awesome thanks for joining us everybody you've been watching and listening to the life enthusiast online radio tv and blab network <laughs> i love this is we added blabs so much fun and <laughs> we're here to restore vitality to you and to the planet thanks for joining us see you next time take care blab <laughs>